there, this is Jesse Culver, go by Wasnator Online, and today I'm going to be talking to you about making add-on packs for the Source Engine Storybook. So if you've ever played the mod, and I assume you have, considering you're watching this video, on the main menu screen I'm here, you should see, when you click New Game, we get this nice It has like, come selector. to my attention that some have like lately called me a collaborator as if such a term were launch shameful. And, uh, launches for various maps. So, how do we go about making our own? Well, it's actually pretty easy. To begin with, go to your storybook folder. Open the custom folder. You can see in here, I already have a demo, so I'm just going to walk through how this demo is set up and how it works. What you would be doing is you would click Create Folder. I'm going to call this Demo 2. Inside of here, you're then going to make a Maps and Materials folder. I don't think I have any others. Oh, Maps, Materials, Models, not. Okay. Then in here, we make another one called Demo2. And I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to steal these files really quickly. And I'm going to first start off with the folder file. So I'm going to edit this in Notepad. So up here, I'm going to put the name. I'm going to change this to a 2 just to differentiate it for this. And you can see here we got our folder icon, and we got our, our comment for it, and lock is 0. Go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to take a look at this one here, demo.bns. I'm going to rename it to demo2.bns. Edit with notepad, plus, plus. And in here, you can see I have all the different naming schemes for the maps. So I'm going to call this keyboard two demo, key Discord two demo, edit map two demo, or end map two demo. And I'm going to save this. And you can see here, this is pointing to the BSP. Uh, you just don't put the dot BSP at the end of it. This is pointing to the VMT, but it assumes it always starts in the materials VGUI folder. So I always put mine in a folder icons folder. That way they're all kind of grouped together. And you got your comment. Now, important thing to know about uh, let me grab the these files here is open up like this one for example is this resolution so you might be thinking why why have this empty blank space here well for whatever reason you need to have it be 256 by 128 and then it's only going to use 180 by 100 I want to say I have the specific dimensions um, listed here in this wonderful PDF actually 180 by 100, starting at the top left corner. So going back into here. And the VMT is pretty straightforward. You just point to do it like you normally would. Vertex alpha 1, unlit generic. And as you can see here, I provided a template that way you can quickly make your own if you use paint.net like I do. Uh, fun fact, if you take a, if you save your game while you are in your map, it'll actually, the image that comes out that they use in game will be the same exact dimensions. So if you want to make just like a screenshot, you could do that um, using that method. Actually works really well. Um, 
So one thing to note about this whole custom folder thing, this this works in almost every Source Engine game. And the way this works is these all get mounted as if they were their own miniature mods, so to speak. So for example, that's why I have a materials and a models folder in here. I could, this gets mounted in the same exact way um, my materials and mountings would get mounted from the base game. But it's all separated now so that later on, if I decide I don't want demo two anymore, I can get rid of it and I don't have to go through and pull out all the individual files that were specific to demo two. So it makes installing and uninstalling mods really easy. Um, yeah, when you're ready to send it to your friend or upload it anywhere, all you need to do, just send this to a zip. Like that. And then you can just go ahead and just upload that wherever and they, your friend or whoever can just, you know, just drag that in there to your, their custom folder. And that about does it for making an add-on pack. It's really straightforward, really easy. You can have as many maps in here as you want. Um, that's what, oh, well, I opened that one up in Visual Studio. Um, but that's what's nice about this is you can list all your maps here. Um, so if you want to make a miniature campaign or something like that, you totally could. Um, nothing's stopping you. So I hope you guys have fun with that. Um, Looking forward to seeing what cool stuff comes out. All right. And if you have any questions, be, feel free to hit us up on Discord at discord.gg slash source engine. Uh, until next time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go make some coffee, I think. <laughs>